In this video, I'm going to be sharing details and a review of my August workout routine, how consistent I was, what the details about the exercises were. If you want to hear any of that, then just keep on watching. In August, I started at a new gym, but then I didn't realize that it was going to be a bit of a struggle for me to transition from the home workouts I had been so used to and I had built a routine around to gym workouts. So the former gym I used to go to was on my way from work back home in the evening. This new gym is literally after my house, like I would pass my house and then have to still drive for another 20 minutes before I get to the gym. So the thing is, for the over 15 year period of my workout life, I have been more of a home workout girl until very recently in 2017 when I was in the UK studying for my masters and I had no other choice but to work out in the gym because working out outside wasn't a thing and I really didn't have enough space in my little student room to exercise enough i enjoyed all the fitness classes i loved all the exercises and equipment that they had there and that was when i was sold i was so sold on gym workouts and moving back to nigeria i signed up for the gym until late last year when i started preparing for my wedding and i kind of just fell out of my usual routine adapting to working out at home was kind of a bit of a struggle it continued until i think about four months ago when i just decided to put some structure to my home workouts i challenged myself to 30 days working out at home and did that for a second month did that for a third month and i was pretty impressed by the result like i literally saw my fitness level go from here to like whoop. i decided that it was time to sign up for the gym if you are new to my channel please subscribe you could support my channel by liking my videos just leaving a comment these two things go a long way to tell youtube algorithm that this video is actually worth watching that's all i'm asking from you for now August was really kind of like a month where I was just going out of my comfort zone to really do those things that I know I would ordinarily not do. I'm going to actually admit that it was fun, but trust me, having some types of lifestyles don't just happen automatically. The first week of my August gym routine was basically non-existent i managed to squeeze in a bit of workouts at home i mean the entire week came and passed and i didn't make it to the gym until i think on saturday what i went to do was to swim really and then for the second week of august i was definitely a lot more intentional about my working out so i planned that i was going to go to the gym on tuesdays and on thursdays and i stuck to it yay me also on the third week of august i did something i've never done before something a bit different so i tried to use the steam room for the very first time i was at my gym and i realized that okay my membership actually allowed me to get to use the steam room get to use the sauna and of course other facilities like swimming pool squash tennis basketball and all the likes and trust me to experiment and try new things the thursday that followed that i used the swimming pool after i went to the gym if i swam this week i wouldn't swim the next week and then i would swim the upper week so i'm back from the gym now i think i've really been on point with my workout monday i did yoga though i had to do like an abridged version of yoga and tuesday was of course my strength training workout wednesday was rest day because rest after strength training and today is thursday i just got back from another strength training workout of the week tell me in the comments how do you think i did yeah just let me know then outside of the gym workouts my at home workouts i turned things around a bit so for monday i decided to fix in yoga and then for tuesday of course was my strength training workouts in the gym what i mostly do at the gym is strength training because why would i be at the gym and not lift some heavy weights wednesday was kind of like my rest day because i just thought that after a 
very intense strength training workout on Tuesday. My body needed to just recover. And then um, on Thursday, I did another strength training. Then Friday was usually a day that I always found myself missing the workout. And it was for different reasons. One being that on Friday, sometimes I get a bit lazy and I just want to catch up on a movie. Sometimes it's that I'm caught up with trying to probably upload or optimize a video that I want to go live the next day. The one Saturday that I was able to catch up on my Friday workout was last week Saturday, which was the 27th of August. So that Saturday I did high intensity, high intensity interval training workout from Les Mills. And guys, I do not know the last time that a workout stressed or strained me or demanded so much from me. I was literally out of breath. I'll probably link it in the cards up here. Check the workout out when you're done watching this video. Of course, of course don't, 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 don't skip, don't skip. Just listen, listen to me. I'm still talking here. For Saturday, I schedule aerobics. My Sundays are basically my rest days. Besides the usual daily workout I do, which I'm going to link up here. It's like a three minutes Japanese Taiso Rido workout. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. Radio Taiso workouts, <laughs> which I do every morning. Let me just speak a little about the routines that I did at the gym. I've mentioned in some of my previous videos that I have this strength um, training program that I kind of promoted at some points in my YouTube journey. But I have tried to log on to the website or check the website out. And for some reason, I can't access it. I don't know whether the business has been taken down. I don't know what it is. So I was alternating between two strength training routines for every day that I was at the gym and they were mainly focused on the upper body i did a bit of research and i saw that okay 20 minutes of steam bath was really beneficial to the health first of all when you go in you have to break up your session into two so if i plan to do a 20 minute session i would first stay in for about 10 minutes when you get to that point where it's getting a bit uncomfortable you go out just take a cool bath and then come back into the steam bath for another 10 minutes this is my workout plan for september i just changed things up on wednesday and friday and i think that's about it how i'm able to manage my life working a full-time job and then having to exercise and then still managing a youtube channel i have routines for everything i have morning routine i have my routine when i'm at the office i have evening routine that is just how i power my life and make it work without having too much of overwhelm and kind of being organized and on top of things most of the time so if you want me to share details about how i make it work for myself then just let me know in the comments i talk a lot i enjoy making videos so if you leave me i'll just go on and on and on and on and on <laughs> please like this video to support my channel subscribe if you are not subscribed already i really would love to have more subscribers guys please make it happen for me thank you so much bye